Okay, hey guys, time for the first, uh, installment of my, um, evolution and creation thing. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is creation, because that is the easiest thing for me to talk about without having to get too scientific. Now, the first thing I want to mention is that a lot of people don't believe in the six-day creation, or the one-week creation, because they try to compromise, like, uh, uh, like, maybe the Earth really is millions of years old, but, and each day was, like, a, however many million years old. First of all, whenever I get into this, that doesn't make sense, and you'll understand, too. Now, the only way possible for me, that my own theory is, for that millions of year things to work, is this. The very first verse of chapter 1 in Genesis is, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now we stop. In the beginning, he created the heavens and the earth. Alright. So say he created, like, the universe. On, like, in that first verse, okay? The only way that I can see the millions of year thing is working is if he paused... After he created that for a while, then he, and then he said, and then, and then he started creation. That's the only way I can think of that it would work. Because if you think about it, the six day creation had to be six days. There is no way that it would be millions and millions of years. And you'll understand as soon as I get to that point. Now, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We know that. Okay, so now, verse 2 is, Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering above the water. Okay. But, okay, oh yeah, by the way, and the whole thing that is wrong with the fact that that might be, the, the like, he paused for like a few billion years and then he created everything, was that right after that verse it says, uh, Now the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And then verse 3 says, Let there be, and God says, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from darkness. And God, and God called light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. So all of this, all of what I just read, all of the 1 through 5, could have happened within that timeline of a like, million years, but I don't think that is so, because, now, if all of that happened in a million or so years, okay, versus, I don't know why, I'm, it's up on my screen, so I, I'm, I'm doing that, so if all of that happened, and God said, let there be light, and then, light and day, actually, he created light and day, night and day, and then, it was, that was the beginning of the six-day creation cycle, but it doesn't say that, he just says, well, yeah, it does. It says the first day. Basically speaking, first day had to be one day. Well, it didn't. Like I said, the only way I can see it is if he paused in the begin when after the first or second verse. That's the only way I can see millions of years fitting in. And now we're gonna move on to the other reason why I think I don't think anything else to say. On the third day, God said. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. It, uh, all the land in one place, um, now putting all the water in one place and all the land was Pangea, which is both something the creationists and evolution, like, old, old earth and young earth people agree on that there was once a mass of land called Pangea, or something like that, I think. But they both agree with that. Anyways. And he called the dry ground land, and gathered the water he called seas, and God saw it was good. And then, God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land, on land on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to the various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And then, and there was evening, and there was morning, and the third day. Now, the thing here is that, remember, 
ash, like, the vegetation and grass and stuff like that was the first thing he created that was a living thing on the planet. And how do, how does, um, grass, what am I doing, how does, uh, f how do flowers and stuff reproduce or, like, spread? They pollinate. And what do you need for pollination? You need, well, I guess the wind could do that too. But ultimately, you need bees and insects and birds and like other animals and stuff like that. But they weren't created yet. So that doesn't make sense and if each day was millions of years. Because if each day was millions of years, then all those plants would die. Well, and, and you know, unless God was sustaining it, which probably could have happened. But we're not talking about that. We're talking like like, straight, like, you know, like, straight, like, you know, if it was one day cycles. So, on the third day, God created all the vegetation and stuff like that. So then we had the third day. Now let's move on. It, it, but, oh wait, I wasn't done with that statement yet. But, if it was millions of years, I it could not work. It, it could not work for them, for it to be millions of years. It, if it was day... Like, if it was a couple days, like, uh, he made the vegetation on the third day, right. And it was, it wasn't until the fifth and sixth day that God made other animals, birds and stuff and creatures and, like, all the living things that we have today. So, uh, that was two to three days without any animals on it and just presentation. That is possible. For a couple days, plants can easily survive for a couple days without, um being pollinated and stuff like that, but in the evolution, like, not in the evolution, in the millions of years scale, that couldn't be possible. Because, like I said before, if it was millions of years, all the plants would die. Be and, like, they wouldn't be able to, like, reproduce and pollination and stuff like that. That is why I don't think, I, I believe that the, the, the creation week was one week. Not millions of years. And not to mention that, um, like, on the fifth day, God created the fish and the birds and stuff like that. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm, I got lost my place in where I was. Then, yeah, on the, and God, on the fifth day, God said, Let the water team with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with, it, with which the water teams and that moves about in it. According to their kinds, and eat every winged, winged, winged bird according to his kind. And God said it was good. God blessed them and said, "Be fruitful and increase in number, and fill the water and fill the water in the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth." And there was evening and there was morning, fifth day. So, if God created the uh, sea creatures and the birds in on the fifth day, then what about all of them between them? Like, between that day and the day that he got created the other animals and stuff, what, millions of years? That doesn't make sense. Because so much things could happen on the Earth in a million years that those birds could have gone extinct. I doubt it because they wouldn't have any predators, though. But still, it's all a matter of... It really all comes down to a matter of perspective. This is my perspective. This is my thoughts. This is my, like thinking, like, you can see that, so, yeah, uh, then God created man on the, on the last, on the sixth day, Adam and Eve and all the other animals and stuff like that, now, in the sixth day, alright, yeah, so that was the sixth day, so, my thinking is that, what if, I don't know what I'm doing, so, if the millions of years thing was a thing, and it was real, like, and it could fit in the biblical point of view, like I said, the only way I can see that happening is chap verse 1, chapter 1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And then the pause. But it doesn't say he waited millions and millions and millions of years. He only, he, and it goes straight to the, uh, him saying let there be light. Now, unless, like I said, unless there was a pause right after he created the heavens and the earth, I don't see how the millions of years should fit in. And like I said, just this is a recap. Um, like I said, the 
plants being like on the thing before the everything else, millions and millions of years would mean that they wouldn't be able to survive for millions and millions of years if there was no way for them to reproduce, like pollination and stuff like that. So therefore, it would need birds and insects and stuff like that to um, pollinate and like spread seeds all over the place. Millions of years, they would have all died. A couple days, waiting a couple days, they would be fine. And that's pretty much it, I think, for this video. Uh, this is part one of creation and stuff. And then I will just, I'll start. Yeah, wow. I will get back to, I will make part two another time. So until then, see you guys later and have a great time. And don't die.